Joe Young, Texas Tech University, Plant and Soil Sciences, the Turf Doctor. Welcome to the house. Hey, uh, he's enjoying uh, his daybreak coffee, Cowboy Brand. How you like? How you like sipping on that stuff? Good, isn't it? Some good coffee. Get That's your sure. uh, get your computer logged on to dbcr.com and order you some. All right, uh, you know i I sprayed my yard, and I do this every year. And my yard is always a late bloomer. But right before it tips out, I spray my whole yard with Roundup. Now, you know, it's pretty clean as far as weeds go and stuff like that. But am I making a mistake here? I mean, because it's in my yard is just now starting to come out. My neighbor's is like green. But, you know, into the summer, as we get in late spring and early summer, my lawn gets really lush. Yeah. Do uh. Have, have you, do you water your lawn? Well, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't water my lawn, so it's a little bit oh, slower okay. than, than some of the yards around me. But Kind of like uh, the fence guy. The fence guy's always got the crummy fence. The turf uh, doctors have got a crappy yard. <laughs> there are different cultivars uh, definitely come out of dormancy at different rates, so it could be that your neighbors have, have a cultivar, if it's Bermuda grass everywhere, that their cultivar just tends to green up a little bit quicker. Uh, some of them green up a little bit slower. It it could be that. Um, it's I I'm not in really a a good position to recommend that people go out and apply glyphosate. Uh, whenever the grass is starting to green up because it is a systemic herbicide, and if the plant takes up the herbicide, there's a good chance that you could see some injury uh, as the grass continues to come out of dormancy. I know that if it's something that you've done in the past and you've had success with it, then by all means go for it. However, uh, I don't know that I would necessarily recommend that everyone uh, prescribe to that particular uh, regime of management. Yeah. So, uh, there's another product called uh, glufosinate. Uh, it's, it's the chemical uh, term. Its uh, trade name is Finale in turf. I don't know exactly how easy or hard it would be to find, but it's another non-selective type of herbicide, but it's not uh, systemic in the plants like glyphosate is. So if your yard was kind of starting to come out of dormancy, that would be a good non-selective herbicide that's going to kill. Non-selective means it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill it all dead. If it's, if it's growing, it will kill it, yes. It, whether it's a grass or a broadleaf or a sedge or whatever it is that's growing, uh, if it is growing, it will kill it. Yes. Okay. But glufosinate is is better in in that particular instance because it doesn't have the systemic nature that glyphosate does. So, do you guys have like you know like wine connoisseurs? They have wine cellars. Do you guys have stashes of all these different herbicidal chemicals? I'm sure some people probably do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, you guys uh, have several different activities going on that uh, you'd like to invite people to get involved with. What you got? Yeah, first and foremost, uh, this weekend, just on Saturday, our agronomy club at Texas Tech and the Plant and Soil Science Department is having their first annual trap and skeet shoot. So oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be um, – if I guess you could go on our website to, to find more information. There's a link about the uh, event itself. Uh, it's going to start at 9 a.m., on Saturday morning, and the location and all the information that you would need to know to, to sign up for it is all uh, online. Our website is pssc.ttu.edu, and uh, you can go there for more information on that. In addition to that, our turf club is going to be having our third annual uh, fundraiser golf tournament uh, on May the 1st, which is Friday of next week. And it's going to be at Meadowbrook Golf Club uh, here in town. We're going to be playing on the Canyon Course. Uh, anyone who plays will get uh, get a free hamburger. Uh, we, we're going to start eating at 11 a.m. And we're going to have a shotgun start at noon. And it's going to be a four-man scramble. So, uh, you know, bring your friends out. Get your buddies together. Come out, play some golf. It's just $50 per person to play. So it's it's a very reasonable uh, amount of money that you pay Um to be able to play golf that day. Uh, the funds that we raise for that particular, uh, in the, with the tournament, uh, they go to our turf club and our turf club is an undergraduate, a group of undergraduate students that are studying and they want to go into the turf industry, whether it be golf or athletics or, um, home lawns or commercial lawn management. And, uh, those students, the money that we raise helps pay for their trip to go to the golf course superintendents association 
meetings that are held in February each year. So this is really our primary <laughs> fundraiser. Um, so so it's a real good opportunity for us. Uh, anyone, if there's a company out there who might be interested in a whole sponsorship, uh, those are um, $100, uh, just $100 per whole. If, That's cheap. If there's a uh, if there's a company that not only wants to be a sponsor but maybe wants to play golf as well, uh, I cut fifty dollars off the entry fee, so it costs two hundred and fifty dollars to have a four man team and to get a whole sponsorship. And with the whole sponsorship, you get a sign with all your contact information, your logo. Um, you know, I'll, I'll make sure you get good publicity via social media websites or things that i use for our turf program as well as our well yak you up right here our turf blog and uh every <laughs> everywhere else that that we you know try to support and, and mm -hmm. show appreciation for those that are supporting us and and helping us do the things that we want to do and need to do and a good cause to take off half a day of work yeah exactly like yeah and it's <laughs> and you're talking about playing golf some people just might want to go for the burger <laughs> and you know, take a vacation day. I'm good with that too. If if you want to come and just eat a hamburger, or if you're a healthy sort, and you don't, you know, you got a lot of big sick days stored up, then call in sick. There you go. Why not? Yeah, but uh, any anybody who wants any information, is that ethical? <laughs> any well, sure it is. Anybody who wants any information, uh, my email address is Joey J O E Y period Young Y O U N G at t t u dot e d u. Uh, you can email me for more information about either one of these events. Um, you can give me a call. It's 806-834-8457. Now you call in sick, and then you see your boss out on the golf course with you. <laughs> he <laughs> called in sick, too. <laughs> All right, Joey Young, the Turf Doctor, Texas Tech University, playing soil sciences. Got the uh, trap shoot this weekend. Next weekend, got the golf tournament. Yep. Yep. All right, it. thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you. Guys. you.